Hey everybody, so today's video is going to be a Halloween tutorial inspired by the new series Carmella here on Verve Girl TV. So if you prefer the treat aspect more than the trick for Halloween, keep on watching. Boo! <laughs> okay, now that the trick's out of the way, now it's time for the treat. So today we're going to be making vampire sugar cookies. And because I'm no Martha Stewart, I thought this tutorial would be a lot easier if I just used the sugar cookie mix. So pretty much we're just going to read the back for the instructions and follow what it says. So for this recipe we're supposed to mix together an egg, the actual cookie mix, some water and some butter. Now we're going to mix all of our ingredients together and it's going to start to form the dough. Then we begin to mold it in either a ball or a patty so that it can be prepared for rolling. Then we're going to press them all together and roll it out. Even though I didn't have a rolling pin, this wine bottle did the trick. Now it's time to cut the cookies. So to make the actual lips, we're going to kind of like cut out a large smile. And then for the upper lip, we're going to kind of cut out a really large M, almost like a wide McDonald's arch. But if you're not a fan of freehanding the cookie, you can always use a cookie cutter. I found this football shaped one at Bulk Barn and all I did was cut out a triangle for the upper lip by the Cupid's bow. Afterward, you would just continue your cookie cutting over the rest of the dough that you have. And then also don't forget any leftovers, you can actually remold and roll out so you can create more cookies. So now it's time to bake the cookies, so grab a baking sheet and place them all on it. So for my cookie mix, it said to set the oven to 350 degrees for 12 to 15 minutes. So now it's time to ice our cookies. Grab your red and black icing and pretty much here you can decide whether you want to outline the lips first or fill in the actual mouth. I think it's a lot easier to fill in the inside of the mouth first, so I do two stripes of black in the middle and then trace the lips on the outside and then fill in any gaps. To smooth out any harsh ridges, just grab a wet butter knife and smooth it out. Now you're going to grab your marshmallows to make the teeth. So for the fangs, I just cut out some really long triangles and then for the teeth in between, I just cut out some long rectangles. Alright, so there you have it, some vampire cookies. Now they're not perfect, but not all vampire lips are created equal. <laughs> So we all know that milk complements cookies really well, so for an added twist, pour in some strawberry syrup and then grab some red food coloring dye and throw that in as well. And then once you mix it up, it doesn't look exactly like a bloody drink, but it's very pretty. So there you have it, a Halloween twist on the classic milk and cookies. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and definitely try it out if you plan on having a Halloween party. So take care and happy Halloween! Thank <laughs> you.